everyone. That's the end of the witching hour. No more witching. Bedtime. Chop, chop. Oscar, I let you participate in the witchy sleepover. I did not say you could participate in being near me. But Pajamas is afraid of potential school ghosts, and he wants his BFF Jim Jams nearby. Ugh. Come on, Suze. Don't be such a sack of green potatoes. Watch it, Jim Jams, or I'll donate you to Howard. I wish you'd donate me to Howard. I love Howard. Oh, yeah? You're not going to love him when he stretches you over his size large monster chest. OK, lights out, witches. Jim Jams! Huh? What is it, pajamas? Did you see a ghost? No! Susie's sleeping face! Oh, yeah, I don't have to look at that. One of the perks of being on her body. <laughs> can you tell me a comforting story? Sure, I can tell you a story, but the only one I know by heart is about Susie and her friend Ramona and their quest to save magic. Hard pass. Pajamas, this story might contain answers about Susie's past. Questions that have been keeping me and Oscar awake at night. I've been sleeping fine, Boo. But you know I love a good story. Okay, scooch closer, Hedgehog. It's a long one. Once upon a time, magic used to be everywhere, and magical creatures were part of the fabric of life. Witches were central to society. Hey, you, more hustle. Magical advisor to the mayor coming through. People relied on magic for everything, from minor tasks to major undertakings. It was a real honor to have a witch working for you. Until one day... Hey, I'm flying here! Go! <laughs> Susie spotted a friend sobbing on the docks. Susie! A friend? That's Ramona, right? No, not yet. Look, I'm building to it. Okay, look, this was Mallory, a different friend. Who hurt you, Malpal? Was it Walter? Emmett? Kent? Stuart? Xylophone? Popo? Bernie Huddlestein? Wow, you have a lot of boyfriends. No, it's not one of the boys who loves me. I got replaced at my cushy night job! Oh, they probably just fired the wrong person. What's better than a teenage witch? Apparently, something called a hydraulic crane. It's even doing my flight pattern. There goes my excuse to meet cute sailors. Hey, don't worry. I'll take this to the mayor. We'll get you your job back. Nobody puts a witch in a ditch. Hop on. <laughs> don't cry on my hair. <laughs> <laughs> You wait here, Mallory. Meh? Ah, Susie, my trusted magical advisor. Thank goodness you're back. None of the top hats you've conjured are working with my signature mutton chops. I need more options. Can you? Excellent. With all due respect, Mr. Mayor, I'm here to issue a complaint. My friend Mallory used to work at the docks, but they've replaced her with a hydraulic crane. And what's up with that? Oh, Susie. The world is changing. New, exciting inventions are taking the place of magic. Oh, what's that now? Don't, don't you get your broom twigs in a twist. Things like these hydraulic-powered doohickeys are cheaper than witches. And more reliable. They will lead to fewer accidents. I don't need to remind you of a certain witch named Mildred, do I? Do I? No. Good. Don't worry, Susie. Witches will be fine. You always land on your brooms. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I really have to decide on one of these top hats. 